in this problem we are given four commutator brackets we have to check out of these which commutator brackets are non zero let us now solve this problem let us solve part a first and suppose this commutator bracket is applied on some wave function psi so if we open this commutator x p x cap it will become x cap p x cap minus p x cap x cap acting on psi we know that operator p x cap is given by minus iota h cross del by del x therefore p x cap x cap psi it is p x cap x psi because we know that x cap psi is actually x psi so now we will put the value of p x cap which is given here it is minus iota h cross del by del x at it is acting on x psi so here we will have to apply product rule so when we apply product rule this equation will solve as follows minus iota h cross del x by del x of psi plus x as such and del psi by del x now this derivative is 1 so it will become psi and it will remain as such now take this minus iota h cross inside this bracket and it will become minus iota h cross psi plus x and minus iota h cross del psi by del x so this quantity is nothing but it is uh, again p x cap psi so we are writing it like this therefore p x cap x cap psi will become equal to minus iota h cross psi plus x p x cap psi now we are going to put this value back in equation number 1 this was equation number 1 and when we will put the value of p x cap x cap psi here this minus sign will change the sign of other quantities hence x cap p x cap psi will become x cap p x cap psi plus iota h cross psi minus x cap p x cap psi these two terms will get cancelled each other and you will get x cap p x cap psi equal to iota h cross psi and we now will ignore psi on both sides therefore our commutator will be x cap p x cap equal to iota h cross obviously this commutator is non zero so therefore out of the four choices a is also one of the correct choices let us now see what is the value of commutator given in bracket b x comma py is acting upon some wave function psi just as in part a so when this is opened it becomes x cap py cap minus py cap and x cap we know that x cap psi is equal to x psi so this is just reflected in this step the operator py cap is given by minus iota h cross del by del y hence this equation by putting the value of py becomes x cap py cap psi plus iota h cross del by del y of x psi now here the partial derivative is with respect to y and this quantity is x here so it can be taken out of the partial differentiation therefore this equation becomes x cap py cap psi plus x iota h cross del psi by del y but we again use this definition of py cap which is py cap is equal to minus iota h cross del upon del y so as a result this equation becomes x cap py cap psi minus x py cap psi now we assume that py cap psi is some new function phi therefore in this previous equation we can write this as phi and we can again write this as phi so that x cap py cap commutator operating upon psi becomes x cap phi minus x phi and which further becomes x phi minus x phi because x cap phi is equal to x phi these two terms will get cancelled each other as a result the commutator of x cap py cap acting on psi will be zero as a result we can write x cap and py cap commutator equal to zero therefore the second commutator is actually zero let us see about the commutator given in the option c so we have written here x cap square equal to product of x cap and x cap now this commutator therefore can be written as x cap into x cap comma p x cap commutator plus x cap comma p x cap commutator acting on x cap commutator here we have used this property of commutator that a b comma c is equal to a comma b c plus a c comma b now we have already solved this in part 
a of the problem that this commutator x cap p x cap is iota h cross so it this equation will therefore become x cap iota h cross and iota h cross x cap but iota h cross is a scalar quantity so we can change the order here as a result this equation becomes 2 iota h cross x cap hence the commutator c is also non zero so the commutator given in option d is x cap px cap square just as in part c of the problem here we are writing px cap as product of px and px and then we are expanding it as x cap px cap into px plus px cap x cap comma px cap commutator where we have used this result that a cap comma bc is equal to ab comma c plus b into a comma c now again this commutator is nothing but iota h cross so this is also iota h cross we are now putting these values and it will become therefore iota h cross px cap and px cap iota h cross as a result it will become 2 iota h cross px cap so therefore the fourth commutator d is also non zero hence out of the four choices the commutator given in choice a commutator given in choice c and commutator given in choice d are non zero hence the correct answer to this option are a c and d